Hello friends, welcome to my channel Hira Takis. This is our Angular 15 Material UI tutorial. And the part of this video, I am going to create menu in our application using Material UI components. So the below components are going to cover. The first one is toolbar, the next one is menu, then icons, the final one is button. Now let me go to my existing application. There I am going to start the implementation. Here the first step is we have to import the required models. So let me go to my created material UI model. And as I mentioned, I am going to use the four components. So then I have to import four models. So we can do one by one. So the first one is toolbar. And the model name is mat toolbar model. Okay. And let me include it here. And the same way, the second one is menu. And the model basically, it is start from mat, then our control name, so end with the model, okay? So this is the common pattern. And the third one is icons. The procedure is common for all the models. And the final one is buttons, okay? So now I have imported all the required models. The next step is I'm going to create one component. So the component name is menu bar. Okay, the component is created. So let me copy this selector. Then in our app component, so in the top of that, we can call this one, okay? and we can command these two items. So let me save this one. And in our menu bar component, we can use the mat toolbar, okay? So inside that, we can define our buttons. Home. First, we can add some common menus, okay? about then contact so in this button we can use one directive button so let me include in the three buttons okay now let me see the output okay see so we have the menu and the three buttons okay now let me provide the color primary see now it is changed into blue color okay and the next thing is we can provide the application name material UI tutorial okay then I am going to include one CSS example spacer so let me copy this one see now so our application name and the menus are moved into the right side okay and here we can include some icons and instead of the mat button we can include this mat icon button okay and here mat icon so there we have to provide some name okay home so the similar way we have the n number of icons so that actually we can use so if i'm putting like this menu we have this menu icon see so it should be fine right so the next thing is i'm going to include one class that will give some better look and feel mat elevation is at six see now and in case if required, we can just adjust 
this one okay great we have completed the basic menu okay the next thing is i am going to map the router and also i am going to create one nested menu okay so it is kind of tree structure so for the home let me create one more new component okay the home component is created and whatever i have commented here let me cut and move to our home component okay and in our routing side so here we can include our home component and the path should be empty okay so now in our menu bar we can include this router link so for the home it is the empty only and in the icon also I'm going to include the same thing next about we don't have anything so anyway let me include it okay so instead of this about I'm going to include as the input because we have the own component the name of input and the second one is autocomplete because both the topics are we completed in our previous videos okay so let me save this one we can see so initially it is in the home page okay so if I'm clicking input so it is redirected to our input component and then auto complete okay so again if I'm clicking this icon it is simply redirected into our home component okay so next let me tell you how to create the nested menu so after this home I am going to include one more button with the name of master okay so here we can remove this one and in this button I am going to use the property mat menu trigger for okay level one master and here I am going to use this mat menu and then that ID equal to mat menu okay so here we can include our sub menus okay so for that I am going to include the button the first one is company and the second one is customer finally product and here I am going to include one more directive mat menu item so let me include for these three items see now we have this master so when I'm clicking this one see it is coming like this this is the first level so next I'm going to create the menu for this company okay it is kind of a tree structure the procedure is same so let me copy this line mat menu trigger for so we can include it here and the name we can give like a company then customer and finally product so the next step is we have to define the required mat menu so the name is company so then we have to put like this and let me remove this trigger event so in this company I'm going to have three menus term 
tax currency okay and the same way I am going to create the sub menu for our customer for the customer I am having customer type so there also I am just having this tax okay and finally I am creating sub menu for our product so unit of measurement for the example purpose only I just added some of the items you know so the master have the company so inside the company we have three minus term tax currency so inside this customer I am having two items and in this product I am having three items okay so still if you want to include some other items also we can do so I am just doing for this variant I am going to include two more menus the color and the size so first we have to add this property for this variant right then we have to provide the name so next we have to define this map menu so the same name we have to use in our map menu so as I mentioned I am having two menus I mean sub menus color and size so let me refresh the screen so, you know product okay this is the way we can create the menu we can have n number of sub menus also so as I mentioned this video covers below components like a toolbar menu icons buttons so let me provide some overview okay so based on our requirement I have included some of the items so now let me go to this button side so if you go to the official site of angular material UI we can see this button where it is okay so here so we have the lot of options okay buttons the basic buttons are raised stroke to float see the output it should be like this so if you want to use the steps are very simple so first we have to include this button tag and then we need to use the directive so based on the type the directive only vary see so mat raised button then mat stroked button mat flat button and if you required we can use the color also see so the blue color is a primary then ascent one and if required we can create some custom classes also so let me take this ascent so the same color that actually we can apply for our menu also okay so currently we have this primary so that's what it is coming like this so in case if you want some other things you can change it see the menu so it is completely changed okay so in this way we can change your color also now let me revert it so we can have this primary and the similar way if required we can include some custom classes uh, we can change this color and initially we have used the basic button okay now I am going to include one this mat raised button we can copy this one so in our menu at the end let me include this one so the text we can give like a sign up and this color is fine see it now okay it is somewhat looks fine the similar way we have n number of examples so we can use based on our requirement the similar way let me go to this icon so the icon also very simple so in the first example we used right okay this one so let me copy this one I'm going to include it at the end let me remove this router see so just a button so after that we have included this matte icon button as the directive 
so inside I am using this mat icon and finally whatever name I am providing so this is actually an icon name it will show the relevant icons okay so in this menu example also sorry for the inconvenience okay see in this button also at the bottom they are showing right see some of the icons if you check this example so they have added this favorite and menu and this open in menu so the similar if you want to use n number of icons so just search like angular material UI icon list here we will get a lot of items so if you take this dashboard see the dashboard symbol and the similar way I believe we have this notification the telephone call and some other things so message icon means just SMS see now so the SMS symbol is coming and notifications see so the notification icon so I just shown around three to four examples the same stuff you have to apply for any icons and the next one is uh, this menu okay see so they have used some of the examples so there are two items are showing in the next example I believe we have the lot of items yeah in this example side so if you checked the procedure is common for so instead of the button they have this mat icon and also the span tag so span tag will show the name and the icon will show the exact icon and the disabled the property was there if you included this disabled so then the result should be completely disabled so that's what we have seen see so there are three menus the second one is disabled okay so this is all about the menu and the final one is toolbar so in this toolbar also they have used the icons only so if you go to the example see this is the basic one and the multi-level and they have provided some of the suggestions so based on our requirement we can form our menu and we can use the menus and like icons and buttons okay so now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel so in my next video i will come up with one of the interesting topics so please be stay tuned thank you thanks for watching